Ah, a message from Oliswa. Oh no, the president has coronavirus? Wait, a message from Andile. The news is confirmed? Let me check the news. Oh, it's everywhere on Twitter. There's a link. The link says that now he's sick, we can't leave our homes to even buy food? What does this mean? Why can't we eat? What right does the government have? Why is that news site saying that the information isn't true? I've had so many messages. Of course it's true. There's a link from Susan. She says that it's confirmed by her sources. She's very reliable. But Facebook has another link that says the president is fine and is hosting a briefing in an hour. Oh, I don't know how to cope with this. Which information is real? Should I buy food now? Should I call my family? News and updates often come from trusted sources like our friends and family. They send us links and images that they think are true but often lies. They sound very believable because the lies in fake news are mixed in with the truth. Disinformation is deceptive that way. It grows and spreads because it has an element of truth and it sounds real. Disinformation is overwhelming. It makes you anxious, scared, and even doubting yourself. Before you know it, you can't tell what news is real and what is not. There is so much information. It is everywhere. The news, social media, instant messaging, phone calls, emails, all of them saying something different. People share false information because they think they're helping others. But this is dangerous and it is designed to cause harm. People make up stories to upset others and sell their own agenda. They use disinformation to make people so scared or angry that they share the disinformation across all their social media platforms. This is why it spreads so fast. Soon, everyone you know is struggling to decide what news is true and what news is fake. It moves from house to house and person to person so easily, making them believe that the harmful disinformation is true. This type of disinformation undermines our democracy. It spreads like a disease. It makes people say and do things out of fear and anger, and that causes problems for society. It only wants to hurt, not help. How can I stop this? How can I make this endless chaos go away? Wait, what's this? Real 411. What does it do? What's going on? All the fake news is disappearing. How is Real 411 destroying all this disinformation? Where is it going? Real 411 is an online platform endorsed by the government to help you fight disinformation. All you need to do is log a complaint when you see disinformation. This is assessed by three independent experts who pass on their views to a legal representative. This representative will make a decision about the action to be taken and you will be updated. The more people report fake news on Real411 app, the more impact it will have in preventing how far disinformation spreads. Waza! I've stopped the disinformation from infecting my whole neighborhood. It worked! I can see the difference it's making. I can help my family and my friends. By using the app, I've been able to combat disinformation and learn more about how to identify fake news. Thank goodness. It was just getting to be too much. By reporting incidents of disinformation to Real411, you become a force for good and for democracy. You can help others by introducing them to Real411. This is a powerful way to reduce fear and anger and help your loved ones in these difficult times. It turns out superheroes use apps. You are the hero of this story whenever you report disinformation to Real411. Help others. Help stop anxiety, fear and lies. Stand for democracy. Stand on the side of truth.